I want to go back to hot flashes. Absolutely. Tell me about why they occur and what they are really like. I, you know, you see people, you know, trying to get air on their chest. Well, What's so gone? it's very classically described as it starts from the chest, goes up the neck onto the face. But I have women that will experience them all over. And it's vasodilation. The blood flow comes close to the skin. And it's just kind of almost like you're exercising for a moment. You actually can sweat. Women actually come to me and they'll say, hey, listen, I was in a meeting the other day and all of a sudden I turned bright red and I started to sweat under my armpits. And I can't do that. It makes me look like I'm nervous when I'm really not. They last typically a couple of minutes. And then sometimes because of the sweating, women can actually get very cold afterward. That's very different than women who will explain to me, oh, well, I'm just hot all the time, and they're hot for extended periods of time. That's typically a different cause. These are episodes that are defined over a minute and not over hours. How frequent? Well, they can be very infrequent or they can be very frequent, and that's <laughs> the variability. Just like we're all different, that's variable from person to person. I'll say the vast majority of people, though, have milder to moderate symptoms. Those women who experience them 20, 25 times a day, that's pretty unusual. But those are typically women that we're going to need to get some treatment for. So if somebody is having the hot flashes at a time where the ovaries are sort of fading into the sunset, yes. uh, then it's hormonal directed, the hot flashes. Is it estrogen, progesterone, what's going on? Most commonly, it's the decrease in the estrogen and it's that sort of up and down. You're getting the ovaries are still working some, they may surge at times and they're starting to come back down to a lower level, but they haven't really quiesced and kind of stopped and slowed to a level where they're gonna stay. They're still kind of in this up and down mode. So if somebody's gone through menopause, 12 months, no periods, do they still have hot flashes? They can, Dr. Bob, unfortunately. Oh. But most women are going to resolve their symptoms over on average a two to three year time period. But as you and I both know in medicine, not everybody reads the rule books and not everybody follows the rules. And we do have a small percentage of patients, it's typically gonna be less than 10 to 15% that can experience symptoms long after they've stopped having periods.